Mike, what would you what would you tell a pacifist? What would you tell a pacifist when you're asking for all this help? Uh, uh, with pacifist, uh, you see, I have um, the uh, I understand what you are talking about. Um, I am very much close. Uh, I was very much closed for some time. Uh, for Mennonites, it's a religion. Mennonites, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mennonites. Oh, oh uh, excuse me, no, for no, my pr good. pronounce. I understand. Uh, Mennonites, yes. And uh, Zaporizhia, indeed, it's the capital of Ukrainian Mennonites, uh, and um, uh, there, they, they, it's it's one of those uh, parts of uh, re religion that are also very specific, yeah, and. Uh, uh first of all it's a tradition for pacifists to help uh, those who were wounded who suffer yeah and mm, the sisters of mercy why not for example uh how they can help and uh, they can mm, share the truth it's also the main idea because russian a federation nowadays it's an empire of untruth you see more and more yeah 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 and it, it, uh, nowadays it's uh, became uh, evident for everybody yes but uh, for 20 years the world believed that uh, russians are uh, well thinking people and uh, that are good partners and they don't want to invade anybody. You see, it's an anachronism in 21st century to invade somebody because we are living on one planet. It was, it, it is one hour home. We, we don't need borders at all. What does it mean, the borders between uh, the states? So it's uh, uh, an illusion. Uh, maybe our past history mean, meant that we must have borders but in 21st century when we are speaking about mars when we are speaking about all those uh, i mean expansion um the sequel on uh, tv movie uh, the fifth uh, season uh all, all we we mean the uh, human the earthlings indeed are a part of the universe we're looking for the stars what we're speaking about what what are the words for what what the purpose what the aim of the words here on this planet and and uh, i was very much surprising always when i see that a big country that have enough money enough people enough territory uh enough everything uh uh, uh, is uh, beginning such a stupid war that will destroy at least destroy Russia for years. It's a yeah, already, big problem. Already, yeah. yeah, it's a big problem for Russia for mm. for the population because they step back for twenty years. They and have an economic complete complete economic not, collapse. Not only in uh, in the meaning of economy, but also in the meaning of relationship between nations. Yes, yes. You see, it brothers it became cost, enemies. It yeah. cost more. It cost more, and reputation. It uh, it is building for years, for centuries, and they destroyed their reputation. Yeah. Nowadays. So, uh, have have you heard about uh, Ukraine breathing for peace? His his uh his mics. Uh your mic, Mike, your mic. <laughs> Mike, your now. mic is off. <laughs> uh -huh. I, 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 I'm sorry. Can you repeat it once more? Have you heard about Ukraine breathing for peace? No, uh, Ukraine is the, the, Breath, breathing for peace. Breathing, breathing for peace. Ah, breathing. Oh well, okay. No. Um uh these uh, days <laughs> you see it will be a normal uh, to breathe the, uh, the peace uh, yes, now... so, so this is this is something that we had started and 
whatever is going on in this war, the ultimate goal is is peace. Yeah, and sure. So we want to create whatever we're doing, even if it's it's getting involved in 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 violence to protect and be freedom fighters. The ultimate goal is is moving towards peace. So yeah. what I did, breathing for peace, is every time you hear church bells or, or or chimes that are in front of a lot of people's houses, anytime you hear that, it's just to pause, even if you're moving, but just pause and reflect about that peace. And you say to yourself as you're breathing in, I'm inhaling peace. I'm exhaling peace. I'm yeah. inhaling peace. Whatever's going on around you, I'm inhaling peace. I'm exhaling peace. I'm inhaling peace. Because ultimately, without judgment about what's going on, we want to move towards that ultimate peace, aligning with, yeah, borders and these illusions. We're fighting over the, over all this stuff, the ult which, I, which I understand. And I see myself, even though it's hard to see be, living in a place that this isn't happening, I could see myself defending in that same place. But the ultimate goal is aligning with that peace and the, the bells or, of, of, of that are all around us are just a reminder to just whatever is going on in our day to just get back to that place of peace. Yes, because yes, in, sure. ultimately in that moment when you breathe in and out and you stop your mental thing in one moment, that's when creativity can pop in and you come up with the idea that makes the difference. So Nowadays, you see, we, we, we are looking for more pro prosaic and uh, more routine tasks and uh, agenda. Uh, for us, it's uh, 10 days of stand up and for battle for 10 days, um, 10 days more. Uh, except those uh, 63 before and um, we have to struggle and uh, uh, it, it, it will not those 10 days it will not be the end of the war but uh, I understand what you are speaking about of course uh, you, Ukraine Ukrainian people is uh, very peaceful and uh, uh, we, we, uh, and we are looking for peace also. And we are looking for this peaceful life because we are destroyed. Our country is destroyed now. And um, <sighs> friends, uh, you're welcome to Ukraine after the war. Uh, I think that we'll have the opportunity to meet here and uh, I will show you this country. Beautiful. I, I, Thank you. I, look, forward nice that. You. I look forward to that. Yes. Thank okay. You. Anything else? Uh, no, I think we have to make a tradition for our meetings. And it was very pleasant for me just to see you, to understand you, and uh, to understand that uh, there are people who are thinking about uh, the problem of, uh, of refugees, of uh, hunger, of war, and of uh, people suffer. Everywhere. And it's very pleasant. There's so yeah. many. I've been to in Switzerland the support, in Germany the support. I'm watching the media. It's amazing. Every family's taking Ukrainians. I was in Tenerife. I just came back. I was a month in Tenerife. It's in Spain. It's in next to the Sahara in the Canary Islands. Uh, on the, I ro was, on the I roundabout. Was there, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. on the roundabout, there was uh, Ukrainian flags and peace wow. uh, doves. And when I was at the police, because they stole my wallet or somebody stole my wallet, or, or I, maybe I lost it. Um, <laughs> I was at the police and there was Ukrainians, they're refugees. You know, they were on holidays in Tenerife and they were, I, I was helping them. People were helping them. The police was helping them how to get the uh, residents, you know, to stay in, in Tenerife. They were from Odessa, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. they were on holidays, uh, five, five Ukrainians. And, you know, like everywhere in the world, Ukrainian refugees are welcome in Switzerland here. Um, the uh, trains are free in Germany. The trains are free for all. Everybody with a Ukrainian passport is free. Thank you, friends. We yes. we we understand who are friends for us, and uh, thank you very very yes. very much. And even here in Switzerland, there's the best hotel of Europe, the one number one hotel in my city, Basel, uh, Hotel Trois Rois, Three Kings. The guy mm -hmm. took half of the hotel and made it free for refugees and is paying for it for Ukraine. So. 
it's never happened like that. It's crazy. Like there's more support than ever. And I hope that this will happen with every war and I hope there will be no more wars after this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. And, and I believe, I believe the, when we care as citizens, as global citizens and citizens of our, our individual countries, then the governments start to care. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I think governments are a reflection of what we're, we're worthy of yes. collectively. So, so, so so Mike, when you said you want to make this in tradition, I th I think you, what you meant to say is also that you want to catch up again. Be continue periodically, talking. yeah, periodically, maybe once yes. a week, we can make a um, brief just on situation and maybe some insights from here and maybe something interesting, yeah. Thank you That's so much. Beautiful. It was so interesting what you had to say. I learned so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Glad to see you. Always see you later. Okay. Bye. Peace. Bye, bye, Steve. Bye, bye. bye.